Hello there, I'm Richard Osman. It is Thursday, that can only mean one thing. It is Thursday's House of Games. All week, four celebrity contestants have been playing against each other. Tomorrow, on Friday, one of them is going to be walking away with one of the worst trophies in television <laughs> history. Who is it going to be? Who's playing this week? We welcome back Nina Wadia, <laughs> Johnny Ball, Susie Ruffle, and Danny Wallace. Welcome back, everyone. Nina. Yes. Three days in. Yep. Three fourth places for you. Yep. Are you going to finish at least third today? Absolutely. No, I'm, I'm going to beat Danny today. You're beating Danny. Yeah, this is the one. This Here is the show go. in which I go right to the top They're of the leaderboard. They're already calling it Nina Thursday. <laughs> Susie, shall we take a look at the leaderboard Please. as it stands after three days? Nina, you have three points. Johnny, seven. Susie, nine points. You've got Danny in your sights, but there he is on 12 points. Susie, what are we going to do today about closing that gap? We cannot let Danny win all five. I mean, I've already asked whether we can unplug his buzzer. You've said no. No, I, I, I'm told by the BBC we can't. If it was me, I would. Danny, there he is. Hello. Three wins in a row, three prizes in a row That's as right. well. Got yourself a lovely dartboard. Yes. You have got yourself a beautiful decanter. It's wonderful decanter. And on Monday, you gave Susie Ruffle a pair of House of Games roller boots, which yes. is very kind of you. If you were to win for a fourth time... Sure. It's not, out, not beyond the realms of possibility. Let's take a look at the prizes you can choose between. Ooh. There is a Richard Osman posable doll. There's the House of Games binoculars, House of Games towel. Yes, you're quite right, there's a shoehorn. Big shoehorn, like a boot horn. And also, look at that House of Games stick of rock. What do you think you'd go for, Danny, if you won? Well, you know, I do have quite a lot of Richard Osman merchandise. By now, yeah. Yeah, really, yeah maybe too much. Yeah, a little bit too much, so, if such a thing were possible, yeah. So were I to be lucky enough to win, it, it, it's not inconceivable that I might gift one of these oh. things to someone else. Really? I Nina. really hope I lose now. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what would you go for chance. if you could win? Well, I'd, I'd go for uh, the binoculars, I think. Maybe. Oh, that's nice. Shall we play <laughs> round one on Thursday's House of Games? As always, press this buzzer. We never know what the game's going to be. You don't know, I don't know. Today, our first game is... <laughs> the answer's in the question. Now, so I'm going to go up and down the line. I'm going to show you a question. Somewhere within that question, a bit of it is written in capital letters. And the answer to the question is an anagram of those capital letters. Nina, we'll start with you. Here's your first category, and it is stage musicals. Nina, here is yours. OK. The title character of this musical committed many a terrible deed, yet owns a fine set of shaving razors. Oh. So the oh, answer... Oh, Sweeney Todd. Anagram of deed yet owns. Is it Sweeney Todd? <laughs> Lovely start to the show. It is Sweeney Todd. Yeah, well played, Nina. <laughs> you see how it works? Johnny, what's this stage musical, please? This show features a professor who likes to spend a day firmly teaching the finer points of elocution. A day for a film. Uh, my Fair Lady. Anagram of a day firmly. Is it My Fair Lady? Johnny Ball, my fair lady. It is going very well so far. Susie. Yes. Here's yours. No character in this musical seems ballsier than plucky young Gavroche as he climbs over the barricades. Les Miserables. Is the right answer, Susie. Well played. Three out of three so far. <laughs> Danny, here's yours. Leo Bloom seems innocent at the start of this show, but he's corrupted by greed and ambition. Hmm. I'm pretending. The producers. <laughs> it is the producers. Well done. <laughs> he's a good little actor, Danny, isn't he? What's your next category? Let's take a look. UK Prime Ministers. Nina, here is yours. This Prime Minister's critics might wonder whether he took random advice on how to form a coalition. Uh, gosh. Um, I actually don't know. We're going to time you out? Yeah. Fingers on buzzers, everyone else. Johnny Ball. David Cameron. It is David Cameron. <laughs> doesn't look like an anagram of David Cameron, no, it does doesn't. it? But it is. Point there to Johnny Ball. And, Johnny, this is your question. The Conservative Party faithful saw this Prime Minister as a great charmer that bagged three successive election victories. Good heavens. Oh, 
You got it? Yes. I, I haven't. Should we time you out, Johnny? Yeah. Okay. Some buzzers, everyone else. Nina, to take the point back. Margaret Thatcher? That's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Susie, yes. who's your UK Prime Minister? If you think he was Adonine, then you can't have heard about his handling of the Suez Crisis. Got his first name. How do you feel about that, Richard? <laughs> That's good. How, what letters have you got left over? I'm just trying to work it out. Oh, and oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Nope. Did time you out. It's going to be a race on the buzzers. Oh. <laughs> Danny beat Johnny. Danny. No, because, uh, um, Anthony Eden. Oh. Anthony Eden is the answer. Yeah, well played. And Danny, it is your turn. After training as a solicitor in Porthmatic, this man did very good legal work before eventually becoming Prime Minister in 1916. Uh, I thought I had it there for a second. Oh, look, look at Johnny hovering there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just really take my time so he keeps hovering. <laughs> no, I don't know. Go on, Johnny. You don't know what time you're out, anybody? Johnny Ball. David Lloyd George. Oh, I had David Lloyd George, Lloyd but George. I was looking at the V. Very well played, David Lloyd George. Wow. Let's take a look at the scores, shall we, at the end of that round. Good round for Johnny, that was. Ooh. Susie, Ooh. you have one point. Nina, two. Danny, two. <laughs> we have an early leader, Mr Johnny Ball, on three points. Well played. I think the whole nation has moved, Johnny. I've not been in the front. Uh, uh, you haven't, have you? Before. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I've always been behind before. No, you have been. No. Let's see if you can keep this lead up, shall we? Right. With round two. And that second game is... <laughs> distinctly average. It is a pairs game. The person in last place gets to choose their partner. Susie, for the first time this week, there's you in last place. Who would you like to choose to play with? Well, I've already been with Danny and Nina as over the week, so I think I'll go with Johnny. Oh, that's lovely. Susie and Nina, why don't you change places? Tablets out, everybody. I'll ask you a series of questions, write down your answer, and I will take the average of each pair, OK? Let's see what today's first question is going to be. How many aces has Roger Federer served in his career? That's in all Grand Slams, all ATP Tour titles, Olympics, in the Grand Slam up to February 2019. Everyone have got an answer? Yeah, mine's wrong. Susie, how many aces has Roger Federer served in his career? 3,000. I can't work out if that is... I, I've got absolutely no idea with My this My thought one. it might be a bit more, but right. I don't know for a fact. Johnny, have you gone up or down? I've gone up. Six, is that 16,000? 16, 16, yes. My, my finger keeps catching the screen. For a man screen. who spent his 16, career with 000. numbers, you're very bad at... I was going to put percentages, that's why I put the north. 16,000. 16, so your average, 16,000 and 3,000, <laughs> is 9,500. <laughs> Nina, <you> <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nina, what have you put? 60,000, you never know. Wow. He's a very good tennis player. I just think he's that good. <laughs> yeah. He's really good at tennis. That's fast as well. Oh, yeah. Serves a lot yeah. of aces. Yeah. So a lot of aces. Danny, have you gone up from 60,000 or have you gone, <laughs> have you gone down a little bit? No, I mean, um, no, I haven't, I haven't gone above 60,000. I've gone more for 800. What? 800. Why? Why would you do that? So, so... But you know what? You, the two of you between you... Might drag it down. You, it might be perfect. So your average is, what, 30,400. Oh, that could be right. 9,500 or 30,400. Let's take a look. How many aces has he served and who has won the point? 10,865! Oh. <laughs> that is very nicely That's done between us. It's very, very close. Wow. <laughs> Let's take a look at your next question. What's the answer to this one, please? According to Guinness World Records, to the nearest second, <laughs> how long did it take the world's fastest tortoise <laughs> to travel 18 feet? Just over three Richards, isn't it? Or just under three Richards? I think it's just under <laughs> three walk. Richards. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, three times me, yeah. roughly. I don't know what a tortoise takes. I mean, it's a, it's a, listen, it's a fast tortoise. Everyone happy with their answers? Everyone locked in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nina, how long did it take that tortoise to travel 18 feet? It was really fast and it did it in 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Yeah. So just under a minute to go. Yes. Danny, you've gone up or down? I've gone up to 75. 75 Ooh. seconds, but not too far apart from not Nina. crazy, no. I mean, yeah. he could have been startled. Um, yeah, exactly. We, we don't know a startled the backstory tortoise. or the context. A startled tortoise sounds like one of those hipster bars that opens up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nina and Danny, your average is? 62.5 seconds, just over a minute for that tortoise. Yeah. Susie, what have you gone with? A lot lower. A lot lower, OK. 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Yeah. So, like, a foot a second. Wow. Mm. Johnny, are you happy with 16 She's seconds? almost right. 20 <laughs> seconds, says Johnny. Did someone, did someone throw this tortoise? <laughs> <laughs> we both know the answer to this because it's what our teacher taught us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, you know what? Before that, everyone wanted you to win today. They really did. <laughs> everyone. Uh, so, 18 seconds is your average. So, 18 seconds against 62 wow. seconds. Let's take a look. How long did that tortoise take and who has won the point? Oh. 20 oh. seconds! Wow. Wow. Johnny Ball was bang on. Amazing. I was there. I, I remember it well. I think I th we've never seen that before. We have to give a bonus point to Johnny Ball there, I think. Oh, bang yeah. on the answer. Yeah. Very, very impressive. Last one in this round. According to the British Coffee Association, how many cups of coffee are consumed in the UK per day? Susie, you done? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I was drawing a picture. Oh, lovely, that's good. I hope everyone's drawn a picture. Yeah. Um, let's find <laughs> out. Johnny, we will begin with you, sir. 180 million. That's an average of three cups of coffee per person per day. And I never touch coffee, but a lot of people do. Uh, Susie, what are I'm going to do there now? is I'm going to bring Johnny's down to a reasonable number and go 12.5 million. 12.5 million, yep. says Susie. Your average, Susie and Johnny, is 96,250,000. Nina, oh, you look worried. I am, because I'm thinking of all the tea drinkers and the non coffee drinkers and just people who don't drink anything. So I said 26 million. 26 million, that's okay. 26 million doesn't sound unreasonable. Danny, do you think 26 million sounds unreasonable? I started at 3 million. <laughs> really? And then I lost my nerve and I thought, what am I talking? I, I, I drink nearly that much. So I, I added a five point to become 5.3 million. 5.3 million and 26 million from Nina. So your average is <laughs> 15 million. 650,000. Is it 96 million or is it 15 million? What do you think at home? What have you gone for? 96 million? It's ridiculous. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Let's take a look, shall we? What have you gone for at home? How many cups of coffee are consumed in the UK per day, according to the Coffee Association? It is... What? 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 95 million? That is so close. Five million. I mean, listen, individually, Miles out, both of you. <laughs> that average is incredible. Yeah. If I hadn't just given you a bonus point, I would... Do you know what? I'm going to give Susie a bonus point there as well, because that average is extraordinary. For people who drink coffee, it's two and a half cups of coffee per day mm -hmm. per coffee drinker in the UK. What? Tablets away, please, and Nina and Susie, if you will take your original places. I am so sorry, Danny. <laughs> no, it was my fault. <laughs> that was extraordinary work. Extraordinary work from Susie and Johnny there. Let's take a look what that's done to the scores. Nina and Danny both have two points. Susie, you have five points. Johnny Ball in the lead with yeah, seven points. Buddy. How about that? It's a fix. It's a oh, fix. don't throw this away, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Shall we play another round? Yes. yes. OK. Third round today is... <laughs> Z to A. Now, I'm going to show you three clues at a time but I'm going to fit in the letters of those clues backwards from Z to A, so you'll see more and more of the letters of the clues. You just have to tell me what connects those three clues. Let's see our first three clues. <laughs> yes, Nina? The dwarves in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Is that right? Let's fit it in. Grumpy Sneezing Basketball, well played, an early bus from Nina. Very nicely done. Here's your next one. What connects these three, please? Yes, Danny. 
Are they dogs? Are they dogs? Yeah. They are. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this what one. Is that? Shih Tzu, we know, and Boxer, we know. What's that middle one? Zolo Itzquintal. A Mexican hairless dog, a Zolo Itzquintal. Hairless? Yeah. Oh. As if they don't have enough trouble with their name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's your next one. What connects these three? <laughs> yes, that is Danny. These are all types of bun. Are they all types of bun? They are. Chelsea, Hot Cross and Sally Lun. Well played, Danny. What connects the following three clues? <laughs> yes, Nina. Um, actors. Male actors. <laughs> are they all male actors? <laughs> it's not, I'm afraid. Unlucky. Yes, Danny. Are they famous Tims? Are they famous Tims? Huh. Oh, yeah, they, they are. are. They are. Very good. Tim Curry, <laughs> Tim Rice, and Tim Burton. <laughs> what connects these three clues, please? <laughs> Susie. Are they dinosaurs? Are they dinosaurs? <laughs> Not afraid. <laughs> Nina. Different types of stones, gems. Are they different types oh. of gemstones? <laughs> Not, I'm afraid. Unlucky. <laughs> yes, Johnny. Uh, top one's trapezium. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. I oh. need an answer, I'm afraid. Uh, they're geometric shapes. Are they geometric shapes? No, they're not. Ah, so, Danny. <laughs> I can just take my time now, do, can I? Do you anything nice on your holidays? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bones. Danny. <laughs> are they bones? Are they bones? <laughs> they are bones of the human body. <laughs> what connects these three clues, please? <laughs> yes, are they, Danny. Uh, are they um, perhaps race courses? Are they race courses? <laughs> they are ah. not race courses. Yes, Johnny. They're card games. Are they card games? They are yeah. Canasta, Newmarket and Payton. <laughs> Last one in this round. <laughs> yes, Nina. Gems. <laughs> are these gems. gemstones? <laughs> they are Topaz, Hyacinth and Moonstone. <laughs> well played. <laughs> And that's the end of that round. How did you do at home? You have a good one. A uh, good round for Danny Wallace there. Let's take a look at what that has done to the score. Johnny was in the lead. Yeah. Oh, only just now. Nina has four. Susie has five. Danny has come into second place in six. Johnny's still in the lead. Eight yeah. points. <laughs> Two rounds to go on Thursday's House of Games. Johnny Ball currently in the lead. Let's take a look at what round four is going to be today. It is... <laughs> The nice round. Now, we call this a nice round because you have to help each other out. OK, now, everyone here is going to have to guess a film. Nina, we'll start with you. I'm going to pass the name of that film to your three opponents. So don't look at that. OK. Take one and pass them along. They will say the same thing. If you take out your tablets and you're each going to write down one word, one word to help Nina guess this film, and she'll give a point to the person who gives the most useful clue. So Danny is locked in. Susie, locked in. Yep. Johnny, happy? Lovely. So, Johnny, what word have you written down? Corruption. Corruption, okay. says Johnny. That is interesting. Susie, what word have you written down? Escape. Escape. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Corruption, escape, and Danny? Prisoner. <gasps> Corruption, escape, <laughs> and prisoner. That's, so that's basically that all the films in Hollywood right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, corruption, escape, prisoner. Um, I'm... Oh, gosh, the only one that's coming into my head is that um, Harrison Ford film. Um, Are you think of the one where Harrison Ford's running away? Where he's escaping? Yes, yeah. yeah. I know, and I can't think of the name of the film either now. Um, oh, my goodness, it's... 
Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm just going to say the Patriot. The Patriot says Nina. The one you were looking for was the Fugitive. The Fugitive! That was the one. Either way, so has Nina got herself a point? Susie, what was the film you were trying to get across to us? It was Shawshank Redemption. <sighs> Shawshank Redemption. And that's one of my favourite films. Yeah. So. Not anymore. Oh, no! <laughs> who do you want to give your bonus point um, to? Who's lower on the board? No, no you I can't do know. that. What's the best clue? Fine, then Susie it is. Escape I from the right Susie right. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. It worked out very nice, you did. All right. Now it's time for Johnny to guess a film. And then if you pass this to Susie and Danny. Okay. No looking, Johnny. <laughs> Write down one word to try and help Johnny guess this film. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Hope I've spelt this properly. Is it one word? That's how yes, it is. Word. I'm trying to give you the most helpful word in the world. <laughs> OK, Johnny, you have a film to guess, and you're going to have, have three words to help you. Susie, mm -hmm. what is your word? Spaceship. 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 Right. Danny, what is your word? Scream. Ah, Scream. Really good. And Nina, what is your word? Hopefully, <laughs> this might help. Oh, stomach. Stomach. Uh, Spaceship. Scream. Stomach. This is where the thing comes out of his stomach. Yes. And, and, and That's all i got to do is give you the title of the film. It's not the thing, it's something like that, isn't it? It's, 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 it's what it is. It's Alien! Yay! Oh, what about that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what, brilliant clues, but brilliant clues together. They it's were. Brilliant clues together, it was almost impossible to... Uh, to, to miss it. Do you want to give an extra point? I mean, it... Oh, yes, I've to... got to give an extra point. Oh, it, to stomach, because it's the... Stomach. I suppose It, so, it was the her. clue. Yep. So, an extra point there to Nina. Thank you. Well done. Susie, you are now going to guess a film. Uh, Nina, if you take yes, one course. and pass them on, what's the film going to be? You guys are very good at this game. <laughs> no I'm looking. not going to look. All right, Trish. Mm. I'm Johnny in. is in. So, Susie, you have a film to guess. Yes. You have three words to guess it from. Danny, what is that first word? Splashing. Splashing. Yes. Nina. Umbrella. Umbrella. And I nearly wrote that word, and I didn't see, but I thought, I won't write that because somebody else has written that. So I've written... Policeman. 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 So splashing, umbrella, policeman. What is that film? OK, the policeman is throwing me. Because splashing the umbrella, I was thinking singing in the rain. Oh, that's right. No? Singing in the rain? I'll go for Singing in the Rain. Gonna singing in the rain? I'm going to go for Singing in the Rain. Is that the right answer, Nina? Yes. Yes, it is <laughs> the right answer. Well done. Very good. <laughs> what was the best clue then? I think Umbrella. Umbrella, yeah. OK. Yeah. A point for Nina. Thank you. <laughs> Danny, you're last in this round. Nina, Johnny and Susie, can you write a word for Danny? Hmm. There's some thinking faces, Danny. Doesn't bode well. It doesn't bode great. Danny Wallace. Yes. Three clues to a film. We will start with Nina. Nina, what is your word? Warrior. 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 Johnny. Wheatfield. Wheatfield. Okay. I'll stop and you there. And no, Susie? No, why not? Yeah, go on. Why not? One more. Father. Gladiator. Yes! Oh, it is Gladiator. Well done. Three good clues. <laughs> we feel the warrior Gladiator. Yeah. Which one of those gave it away for you? Uh, listen, if it comes to giving a bonus point, I'm, I'm a fair and just man, and even though he is my, you know, big rival at the moment, Wheatfield gave it away from me. Excellent. Another point to Johnny Ball. Tablets <laughs> away, please. We have one more round to go on Thursday's House of Games. Let's take a look at where the scores are. Nina, you have six points. Susie and Danny, you have seven points. Oh, Johnny Ball has a three-point lead. <laughs> Don't throw this away, Johnny. Don't throw it away. Johnny Ball is in the lead. Danny is already leaning forward. Finger on buzzer. Let's play our final round. It is... Answer smash. A point for a correct answer. You lose a point if you give me an incorrect answer. Best of luck to everybody. Your first category in answer smash today. 
is actors in James Bond films. The Broadway musical American Idiot was based on the music of which band? Danny. Eva Green Day. Eva Green, Green Day, Eva Green Day, well played. Yes. Next question. Which musical note is also known as a 30-second note? Oh, this is nervy stuff. Danny looks like he's tempted to have a go. I am, but I'm conscious of the losing actor, a point. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell you the answer, but the actor is... Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem, and the answer is... Javier Bardemi Semiquaver. <laughs> That's a great answer. Javier Bardemi Semiquaver. Here's your next category. You're going to see some pictures of birds. There'll be a clue underneath. Which citrus flavoured dessert is associated with the islands off the tip of Florida? Yes, Susie. Turkey lime. Turkey lime? Yeah, I can give you that. Turkey, turkey lime pie. Turkey lime pie. Turkey, yeah. turkey lime cheesecake. Turkey lime, well played. Here's your next bird and your next clue. Steve Redgrave won five Olympic gold medals. Yes, Nina. <sighs> um, sparrowing. Sparrowing. <laughs> sparrow and rowing. Well played, Nina. Very good. Yeah. That is the end of that round. It is the end of that show. Johnny, you didn't go anywhere near your buzzer in that final round. He had his lead going into it. Has he kept his lead? Let's take a look. On Monday, Danny Wallace won. On Tuesday, Danny won. And on Wednesday, he did. Has he won Thursday's House of Games? Let's take a look. The winner today is... Johnny Ball! Yay! Johnny Ball is by two points. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, hang on. Congratulations, <laughs> Nina. You have seven points. Susie and Danny tied second with eight. Johnny Ball, wow. ten points. How wow. lovely. Johnny, you are our winner. You get to choose a prize for today. What do you want to go for? You've got the doll, you've got the towel there. This, this is not our best selection of prizes. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. If you're going to win on any day, don't make it Thursday. What do you fancy? Stick a rock? I think the stick of rock. Stick of rock for <laughs> Johnny Ball. House of Games stick of rock. Congratulations, sir. Shall we take a look at the weekly leaderboard? We have one day to go. Friday, double points Friday. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard going into that. Nina, you have four points. Consistent. <laughs> You're getting one every day. One every day. That's the way to do it. <laughs> If we go on for 17 days, you'll be on top of that leaderboard. <laughs> I'd win. <laughs> uh, but look at these three at the top. Anyone's game. Johnny, you have 11. Susie, you have 12. And Danny, you have 15 points. Wow. There we go. Anyone can win. Double points Friday, so eight points for a win tomorrow. Six for second, four for third, and so on. Been a brilliant week so far. We have one day left. I will see you here tomorrow. I will see you here tomorrow as well on the House of Games. Oh, you be He's careful. He's chewing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a surgeon for Johnny, please? <laughs>